is the the tool holder which it's an ER11 uh, tool holder which take uh, tools up to size uh, 7 millimeter and here I mounted the uh, servo tester that I bought just to use for speed control and I have no intentions in letting this one be mounted here in the future I will connect the original switch here and uh, place the potentiometer here so it will look better one thing that I also uh, struggled with was that uh, it was kind of hard to to not destroy the this one um, but uh, I, I found a solution that uh, that let you keep this one uh, untouched okay so let's have a close look inside So what I did was that uh, I used this uh, design of the original plate this is, that is mounted here under the original motor and I drilled and tapped these two rods here and uh, I screwed the rods from under and above and it is really rigid i think i can flip the whole machine not flip but i can can move it easily so i didn't expect that actually that uh, these two would be so strong but uh, that seems to be the case and if we take a look down here um, this motor came with a uh, motor shaft uh, holder or what so to say motor shaft holder for a propeller and I used that one to um, um, connect um, to this part here, this black part here, I don't know what it's called, but it's being sold uh, in kits with uh, arbor shafts. So the end holder of the propeller, I cut that off, and that was 10 millimeters. And in this uh, arbor shaft part, there is a hole in here that is 10 millimeters so I hammered in that uh, upper propeller part in that black part um, and got it uh, right in the center and then this black part here is um, let's see Yeah, here we can see it. It is mounted with a grub screw to the spindle shaft. So it's a very easy solution I, and I think it uh, the motor was around five bucks this one maybe two dollars so that's seven dollars the ESC uh, three or four dollars so maybe eleven dollars and of course this uh, servo controller with which is about seven dollars 
and the this uh, ER collet tool holder with 100 millimeter shaft. I don't remember the price of it right now, but you can look it up on eBay. But I think roughly we, we land somewhere around 25 bucks. And if the motor breaks, you can buy a new one for five bucks and connect. So that's good. Another thing that's good that I noticed is that if you push the motor too hard, it will not stand and fight like the brushless motor that uh, fought itself to, to death. <laughs> uh, instead, it will switch off the power. So that's good. That protects the motor from, from being destroyed. So I will try to detach this one and show it to you. So up here we have that uh, top of the propeller holder that was 10 millimeter, and here we have the tool that is 10 millimeter. So I just cut it up with the saw and smashed it in there, and it was right in the center where it needed to be. These one, these two screws hold the plate to uh, to the machine. And if we take a look down here, we have the shaft sticking up and um, the two holes there that holds uh, this one down. Uh, well, this is a very easy solution. I didn't have a CNC to do this, so I did this this round plate here by hand, so it's it's not a perfect circle and I will for sure do a new one when I get this uh, to run. Uh, these two could have been done better as well but um, well I just wanted to to show you guys how I did it. Well of course this uh, one I cut off as well. My first attempt was actually to drill and thread this one and try to connect that propeller holder to this one directly, but that didn't work out at all. It was all too wobbly. So then I came up with this solution and uh, I bended this one to be able to, to fit the plastic cover. But uh, yes, this is pretty much it. Um, perhaps if you want to do something similar but refine it this this might work and uh, the motor is uh, is strong enough so there is no no problem with the motor at all it's just a, a bit um, a bit um, hard to work with since the motor shaft is only 3.17 millimeters and uh, if one would like to 
take an easier way. One could buy a larger motor with a shaft that uh, fits with this one much better. Or one can also use, use uh, as I, I have seen some, some more people do on YouTube, use mountain motor here and uh, use pulley wheels between. But uh, I wanted to test this little motor out just because it was fun and uh, also because it's, it's very cheap. So hope you enjoyed this video. You are very welcome to subscribe or like the video. And uh, I will try to do a refined version of this one in the future and upload a video on that one as well. Okay, so what I will do now is I will uh, mount this together again and then I will do some test milling with the engine so you can see how it performs. Mm -hmm. 